All right, guys, so it is now 5.43, and I'm gonna try to person view trick, just because I wanna know, and it's not 100% accurate, but we'll just see. The kids was just outside, so, so I'm going to do it. Now, to my understanding from the person view trick, I haven't done it in a while, like, cause I did it, well, actually my cousin kinda did it for me when I took my LPN test, so I'm gonna do it. I looked up some things, so apparently you're supposed to change like the security, code or something and then try to submit your payment and if it doesn't go through or give you a as they say good pop-up that you've already taken this test before then you pass so that is what i'm gonna do so i logged in i'm gonna turn the camera around but before i do i have my um credit card you can get a credit card any credit card expired whatever um just get a credit card okay so um, let me turn the camera around so we can um, kind of walk through it together. I already logged in. Of course, I cannot show you guys my personal information, but I am going to log in. Okay, so I'm on the website and we're going to start the registration. Yes. And clicks are in. Okay, so it's $200 to do that. I'm going to go to next. Some stuff I might have to not show you guys. But um, have you taken NCLEX exam before? Yes. Have you taken NCLEX exam to qualify for the same license? Yes, because this is the second time. Well, I'm re registering for the second time. Have you ever taken an NCLEX exam to qualify for a different license? Yes, because I got my LPN license. And then right here, you just kind of fill in um, the city and state or your school code, which I'm gonna have to look on my phone to get, so. Okay, so once it does that, then you put in when you graduated, which you guys know I just graduated in 2020, ooh, 2021, right there. Agree. Um, okay, so, go. Okay, information. Okay, and this is where we put in all of our good billing information. So be right back. And then you can submit your order. So we're going to submit the order. Oh, hey, okay, y'all. So now we know. I'm so excited. <laughs> Excuse my language, but I'm super excited. Anyway, this is what they call a good pop-up. Our records indicate that you have recently scheduled this exam. Another registration cannot be made at this time. So basically it's saying you took the exam and you passed the exam, so there's no need for you to take another exam. Is it 100% accurate? I'm not sure, but what I will say is I'm excited because I'm glad I got that pop-up. So um, it says, right there that I've already taken it. So um, I'm excited because that means I passed, but um, can it be false? Yes, but we shall find out. I mean, this gives me hope, but it also cannot be reliable. Just keep that in mind. So until I get the official you pass, but right now I'm, I'm happy to, I'm, I'm cool with that pop up. Like I'm all right with it, it makes me feel better. So I will check in with you guys um, in a couple days so we can get these results together. Peace. I took mine on a Thursday at one o'clock, which was July 1st, holiday weekend. So I'm like, ain't no way I'm gonna get my results, blah, blah, blah. So I just kept on checking for my license, just kept checking, nothing was popping up, nothing was popping up. You know, I did the preview, the Pearson view trick and they gave me the good messages they say. Um, you know, I still wanted to keep checking because I'm like, maybe my license will pop up. Oh, excuse me guys. But, so I went and just kept checking. So I had to work that night, um, the next night. So Friday night I went to work and I say about, before, before midnight, my license was on there y'all. So um on the state board of nursing missouri state board of nursing no board of nursing whatever um you know i did the nursey quick you know where you could check your license and i put it in there and my license was there mind you i haven't got my quick results yet so um just be aware your license may show up before you get your quick results so just keep checking that but 
I kept checking it and finally it, it was like, it had a license number, it said RN, it said Missouri, and then I still have my LPN license, you know, cause I'm still a LPN. So that showed up of course. Um, and then my RN showed up. So I was like, heck yeah, I definitely passed. Cause you definitely not finna get no license on the board of nursing if you did not pass NCLEX. So super excited about that. Um, I'm like super excited about that. But anyway, so yesterday, what was yesterday y'all? Uh, no, like Monday. I checked uh, Pearson View and <clears throat> Pearson, I checked them and then I was able to get my quick results. Now, a part of me did not want to pay the little $7.95 or whatever it was to see if I passed because I know I already passed because I already see my license. Um, so I was like, oh, that's probably just going to be a waste of my money. But I did it anyway, just, just because that's my own uh, mental issue that I have. Um, but I, I, I went on and just paid it and got my quick, quick results and it said pass, even though I already knew I passed. But if you're working and you have an employer and all that stuff, they'll be able to look up your license on Nursey. You don't necessarily need to do quick results if you know you got your license on Nursey.com because it is where all employees check to make sure that you are, of course, verified to work um, and got the credentials to work in that state. I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, share. And yeah, peace.